Hey guys, it's Angie. And I am thinking today about how one of the things that gets in the way of reaching goals is not the goal themselves, right? Like, you know how to do a smart goal. And even though smart goals are not that effective, you've got some kind of goal setting process that you go through, whether that's a to-do list on paper or whatever, you, you've got a way that you set goals. So why aren't you making progress towards them, right? And it's a pretty good chance it's because so much of your mental and physical and emotional energy is getting diverted towards past hurts and pain right? There's a piece of your brain that's still stuck in 2012 or 1998 or 1984, right? Or maybe 2023. <laughs> There's a piece of you that's still back there in that past moment, trying to justify or waiting for an apology or waiting for somebody to agree with you that what happened shouldn't have happened, that it was wrong and painful and that you're justified in being hurt by it. Right. So how long do you think it makes sense to stay, to stay stuck that way, right? To keep a piece of yourself in the past moment to justify the pain that you felt, right? Or, and here's the tragic one, how much of yourself do you want to tie up and put on hold in that past event as a way to try and punish the person who hurt you, right? Because that is never going to work. But it's a thing that we do sometimes. We want to tell everybody what a piece of garbage that person was because they hurt us. And we'll tell the story over and over again to convince other people to agree with us that the ex who cheated or spent all the money or was just mean and emotionally manipulative and, and dishonest and broke their promises. We want other people to agree with us that they were a bad person and did bad things so that we can move forward. We think that that's going to make a difference and it won't make a difference right? It's never going to be enough. You're never going to get enough people to agree with you as strongly as you want them to, to feel justified moving forward. That's something you have to claim for yourself. You have to be ready to recall your soul from that past event in order to start moving forward and reclaim all that mental and, and emotional and physical energy into the present moment to build the life you want and to be happy while you're doing it. Does that make sense? Right? Do you see how that works? That's what we're going to do today, right? Just notice when and how you're sending energy back to that past moment or to the person who hurt you, right? You're thinking about them. You're replaying the moment. You're wishing that you'd said or done something differently. And this might be something that happened last week, or this might be something that happened decades ago. So maybe whether it's been a short time or a really long time, maybe you've given it enough of yourself. Maybe you're ready to break free from that and claim the life you want right now today. So if that sounds like you, comment below. Let me know you're ready and we'll keep talking about it. We'll, we'll talk about how to get there.